Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love reading for all zodiac signs. I do want to apologize ahead of time. I know that I've been a little behind. I just have been so busy. Uh, my channel is continuously growing. Um, my clientele is just, you know, uh, it's just extremely busy. <laughs> I am extremely blessed and I want to thank you guys very, very much for subscribing to my channel for helping me in growing my channel and for all of you guys who have contacted me for private consultations for private readings for spell work I am so thrilled and completely humbled and excited uh, to see and that you guys are definitely getting results and uh, you know for entrusting in me and uh, giving me the opportunity to assist you and guiding you guys so a uh, big thank you to all of you guys who have contacted me. Please note, I am still going through my emails. So if I have not responded to you, uh, please be patient as I do uh, get messages throughout all my social media outlets. So again, you know, thank you guys very, very much. Anyways, let's get into this reading. This is my third time trying to um, do the video for Taurus and for some reason, uh, you know, first time the, the computer just went out, second time it froze, so I don't know what's going on. Um, anyways, I do want to mention um, Taurus, this is the first video I'm making. Again, congratulations, you guys. You guys are just surpassing every single sign. Uh, so kudos to you guys. And again, like I said, I am uploading every single uh, month. Uh, the first videos that come up are going to be the first videos of those of you guys who give it the most views or the most comments. So anyways, let's get into your reading. Um, I decided to stick with this reading only because the same cards kept popping out. So I know that this is a very specific message for you guys. So anyways, let's get into the reading, Taurus. Now you do have here the sun card and this is the current situation, okay? In regards to your love and romance. So the sun card definitely represents, for those of you guys who have been single for quite a while, it definitely represents new beginnings and partnerships being right around the corner. Now it does symbolize for those of you guys who have been single for a while, um, but it has something due to dealing or still dealing with the person from the past. There's definitely a lot of clarity coming in uh, probably by the end of this month, if not the first two weeks of December. So the sun represents everything that is illuminated. So clarity, understanding, wisdom, knowledge, all of that comes with the sun. And anything that was kept hidden from you, again, comes back, um, you know, and, and comes out in the open, basically. So this is definitely a good uh, positive omen for you guys in regards to love. Now, the cards for you, Taurus, uh, is the Queen of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the Moon card. Your partner's cards is the Shadow side, the Four of Wands, the Chariot, and the Page of Pentacles. So, I do want to mention, uh, for your cards, you have the Queen, you have the Queen, sorry, you have the Queen of Swords and the Emperor facing one another. So, what this represents is there's definitely going to be a meeting of the minds uh, for you, Taurus. It could be... Um, I feel that this is your energy, Taurus. You're taking on the energy for uh, the middle of the month all the way to December. Um, you're taking on the qualities of that of the Queen of uh, Swords. So the Queen of Swords is someone that has been through difficult situations. Um, for, for some, even uh, almost a naive type of energy uh, that was a bit tainted. Uh, what that you know usually symbolizes is a person that had a pure and good heart. Um, due to circumstance and situation, you became hardened. You became knowledgeable and understanding of, you know, uh, that person almost becoming the person that speaks less because you like to study people, because you like to tune into their energy and pretty much be able to perceive uh, or pick up on their energies if they're lying to you, if they're being honest, etc. So I feel this is you, Taurus, for the month of uh, the middle of November going into December. You're taking on the analytical approach. You're not so much listening to your heart, but you're being guided by your mind. Um, for those of you guys that have been struggling, again, like I said, pulling away from a partner, this definitely symbolizes that you're at the pivotal moment where you grow strong, where you, you know, if you do decide to look back, you will only look back uh, thanking 
the universe for testing you and bringing out that courage, that fierce energy within you to be able to pull yourself or detach yourself from toxic relationships and move forward. Now, this uh, emperor does represent an air sign. Uh, sorry, it does represent a fire sign. It's most definitely in the deck represents an Aries, but it could represent a Sagittarius. It could represent a Leo. Uh, it could represent um, an Aries, like I said, uh, but but more so than that of when I, you know, mentioned to you guys, it could be this sign or it could be that doesn't necessarily mean that that's their sign. It could be their moon or rising, but it can also represent the attributes of that character characteristic based on that card. So with the emperor, this is a person that is all about business. This is a person that uh, is very loving, very understanding, very patient. But more than anything, they're very structured. So if you guys have been lacking structure in your life, I feel that this person is definitely a blessing because they will compliment you in regards to love and romance. Now, I do want to mention, if you have been dealing with a person from the past and the person in the past is a fire sign, um, this do not, you know, misconstrue this and take as the emperor is the representation of the person from the past because it is not the reason I say that is here we have the ace of pentacles so in any love rating for me uh, getting the ace of cups is definitely a blessing and it is new beginnings but it's only the promise of new beginnings so there is opportunity for emotional fulfillment nonetheless it's not a promise when the ace of pentacles comes out in a love reading this is a good omen this is a promise for stability so what that means is that this is a new person. This is a new beginning for you guys. So this is definitely a blessing. Again, like I said, for some of you guys, we are in the middle of the month. Perhaps you've already met this person. Um, I'm talking about more so about a month or so that you've met this person. If not, you have yet to meet this person. This person has not made themselves or revealed themselves to you as of yet. Because the ace, again, like I said, does represent something new. There's newness to it and new opportunities. Now, you do have the moon card here. And the moon card right under the page of pentacles. It's like for some of you guys, you guys are still dealing with an ex-partner that could be an other earth sign like yourself, which would be a Capricorn, a Taurus, uh, or a Virgo. And there is a message coming through, but you already know. See, when I get, you guys have a lot of major arcanas, by the way. So what this represents is when I when I see the sun here and the moon, it's they're both opposites. OK, the sun is all about illumination. It's all about, you know, the light being you know, shown to that of which is hidden or that which is darkness, etc. But when you get both of them, what this represents is that finally truths from things from the past are being revealed to you or you're starting to understand why you have to go through those difficult or trialing situations with your partner. Now, the moon can also represent that you are at a moment where blessings are coming your way and you're also becoming spiritually aware, spiritually conscious, or you are on the path of enlightenment. Um, so try the best you guys, you guys try the best you can to um, definitely tap into that intuition and listen, listen to your gut feeling, you guys. It's very important for this ending of the month to all the way to the second week of December, okay? Now, how your partner views this situation. Um, again, you have the shadow side here. And for some, again, like I said, if you guys were dealing with an earth sign, um, you know, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, uh, it could be the qualities of them as well. Please keep that in mind. Um, the shadow side is definitely talking about uh, everything that is toxic, everything that we do out of like over obsession. But I feel that the, the shadow side is coming up in reverse. As you guys know, I don't do reversals. So I feel that for how your partner is receiving or perceiving you at the present time or the person that you're dealing with, you guys are both coming out of a situation that was very toxic for you guys. Either they're starting to see that they were the problem or if you Taurus were the ones that were stubborn and were the ones that, you know, there was some stepping out of the relationship on your part, then it's you coming to the realization of your of your errors, basically, um, and being able to understand them on a deeper level and move forward with it or move forward uh, to becoming a better person. Now, they do have the four 
of wands here. So the four of wands is all about stability, but it also speaks about, again, right on top of, sorry, right under the ace of pentacles. So there's definitely a new beginning for you guys. For those of you guys that have been in a serious long-term committed relationship, the sun definitely does represent um, taking it to the next level. Although there may be some things that were hidden from you in regards to family members, in regards to um, even family members from your partner that perhaps are not okay with the relationship or have not been okay with the relationship, it's like truths are finally coming out and you both decide to take it to the next level. Now, the ace of pentacles could represent a ring in itself. So it's for some of you guys, it could be engagement or it could be just uh, deciding to take it to the next level again, like I said, and actually uh, marrying or moving in uh, together. Now, the chariot card here right next to the four of wands, again, this is how your partner is perceiving you. They're definitely wanting to move forward in this relationship because they see that you are definitely a person that is... Um, could provide the stability that they're looking for i know for some taurus or most taurus you guys are extremely loyal and if you guys have been tested and have been going through very difficult situations in regards to finances you finally start to see movement the chariot does represent getting out of stuckness so if your partner if this is you or your partner that has been stuck or in a rut for quite a while you're going to quickly start to see movement you're going to be able to see um, pretty much new opportunities coming in. And again, love for, for most of you guys uh, that are currently single or have been single. Um, now, I do want to mention for those of you guys that have been single or are single and you were talking to someone and there's been miscommunication or there's no longer communication, the moon and the sun definitely represents um, being on the opposite or with more so what you're expecting or what you're wanting out of a relationship they're on a different level or they're not where you're at as of now so what that means is that in plainer or simpler tone uh simpler terms what that represents is basically um at the present time situations are happening because everything's correlating to where you're supposed to be at so know and understand that taurus do not resist change embrace it i know sometimes for us it's difficult to you know, accept change because we are creatures of nature, of habit. And based on that, it, it becomes a bit of a struggle, um, especially if, if you didn't understand where this falling out was in regards to the partner or the person you were dealing with. But again, like I said, there is promise for stability and new beginnings for you guys. Now, uh, this, this person that's coming in for you guys that are single at the present time, definitely represents a person that is structured a person that is stable okay and this is perhaps the maturity that you've been looking for or the person that is right for you now the page of pentacles here this is something that has been happening for quite a while or in the process of happening so if you guys have found yourselves dealing with you know people that are just petty people that are just wasting your time um again know and understand that when this person comes in you will definitely know who they are because they're all about business they are not going to waste their time they're going to let you know hey i'm interested in you hey allow me to take you out like they're they're going to be constant in the pursuing you and you're going to know basically so again like i said the page of pentacles definitely represents uh messages coming through and it's messages coming through from a person um, that is new to you, but it could represent a person that, you know, was almost in the lookout for someone like you, like you've been on the lookout for someone, uh, that could complement, uh, your personality. So, uh, very good reading for you guys. I wish you guys the very best and, um, uh, check out, I'm not sure if it's going to be Wednesday or if it's going to be till Friday, but I will be uploading a new video or a new spell video for you guys. Okay. So if you guys are interested in private consultations, they'll get the description box below and we'll see each other soon. Okay, bye.